Hi, Roger Wilson here. I'm just going to start with you today for just a uh, very short um, introduction to three chords. The three basic chords that are used in the blues. Uh, blues can be played in any key. It's played in all the keys, but E is a uh, dominant key in uh, playing the blues. So I'm going to show you three chords today. We're going to go with uh, the, e the basic form of the E seventh chord, which is just like that. And then the A seventh chord, which is like this. And the B seventh chord, which is like that. Now, I'll give you a close up shortly, and then we'll give you a little PDF uh, where you can look at the diagrams and check them out. But in the meantime, all you're going to do is you want to learn the first three chords. And what you do is you take your second, your middle finger, your fingers are numbered on the left hand. Now, this is all beginner stuff. Now, if you played for a while, you're going to understand what I'm talking about. But if you're just starting out and wanting to play the blues a little bit and have some fun with it, which is, it's all about having fun. Your index finger, your middle finger, your ring finger, and your uh, pinky finger. Now, and the thumb is used on the uh, other hand when you get into the finger picking later on. But right now, the, the simple E seventh chord, it's going to be your middle finger on the second fret of the fifth string, and your index finger, your first finger, on the first fret of the third string. And all the strings are included in the E seventh chord. So it's uh, middle finger, second finger on the second fret, fifth string, index finger, your first finger on the first fret of the third string, and just hold it out. And you want to keep your wrist bent underneath and use the very tips of your, don't try to use your fingers flat, use the very tips of your fingers. You're almost having to hook your fingers over and use the very tips and just apply some even pressure. Don't, you don't have to kill it to hurt yourself. All the, later on you will develop calluses. But starting out, you just want to keep the wrist bent and use the tips of the fingers and make sure that every string is clear. Because if you, if you like flatten your finger a little bit, you're going to get a, a dead note. You don't want that. And it just takes a little time. If you've never put your hands in this position before, um, guitar is different than I think anything else. That, there's nothing else that you do in life, I don't think, where you hold your hands like this other than playing musical instruments. But playing guitar, there's just nothing else that you really do. So it's going to be new, but that, that you do it a few times, you're going to come back to it, and it's going to be a little bit easier. Now the second chord is the A seventh chord. And you, we're using two fingers on that. We're using the middle finger and the, and the ring finger, third finger. And the, the, the chord is going to hit five strings. It's not going to... In, I mean, sometimes you're going to hit the last all the strings together. It's not going to really matter. But technically, all this, the chords, the, the notes that are included in it, starts from the fifth string all the way through. Now you take the middle finger, and you put it on the second fret of the fourth string. All right, so the fifth string is open. Second fret, fourth string, middle finger. The third string is open, and you're taking the ring finger, and you're playing it on the second fret of the second string. And then you're adding in the first string. So the five, the first five strings is the E seventh chord. I mean, excuse me, it's the A seventh chord. First one was E seventh. This one's A seventh. All right. Now the B seventh chord is referred to as the five chord. It's referred to as the turnaround chord. That when you play a song, you start off on a one chord, which is the, de the degree of the scale, and that's more or less out of theory. If you're familiar with theory, you'll understand what I mean. Don't worry about it. Anyway, you play the E seventh. A seventh, then you're usually back to the E seventh, then the B seventh is the turnaround, and you can hear it resolving to bring it back around to the to the um, beginning of the song. All right, now the B seventh is a little tougher, but it's not impossible. You're still hitting. You're still going to play five strings. And your middle finger is going to be on the second fret of the uh, first string. Your index finger, first finger, is going to be on the first fret of the fourth string. Your ring finger is going to be on the third, second fret of the third string. The second string is open, and then your little finger is going to come up to the... It's going to come up to the uh, second fret of the first string. So that's the B seventh chord. All right? Here's E seventh. A seventh. B seventh. All right? Okay, so let's, uh, let's do a little close-up on it. All right, so here's the close-up of the guitar now. And we're going to play the E7 chord, which is the 6th string open, middle finger on the 2nd fret of the 5th string, the 4th string is open, the index finger, 1st finger is on the 1st fret of the 3rd string, and then the 2nd string is open, and the 
first string is open, you can hit all six. So that's your E7, E7 chord. Now there is a full version of an E7 chord where you play a full E chord and you add the little finger in. And you, if you know that already, you can use that. But if you don't, you're just starting out. Just play the basic, the basic form of the E7 chord, a little simpler. The other stuff will come later. All right, then you've got A7. And that's the fifth string open. The middle finger on the second fret of the fourth string. Third string open. Ring finger on the second fret of the second string. And the first string is open. So that's A7. That. All right? And you're striking the last five strings. Like that. Okay. Now on the B7 chord, you're not using the sixth string, but you are playing the second fret of the fifth string. Index finger, first finger is going on to the first fret of the fourth string. And the ring finger is going on to the second fret of the third string. The second string is open, and the little finger is going to the second fret of the first string. All right. So let's just review slowly here. We'll just go over each chord, the E seventh. No, that's not right. Here it is. All right, E seventh. A seventh. B seventh. And back to E seventh. All right, we'll take a look at the PDF so you can see the, what the chord diagrams look like. Okay, here we are looking at the PDF now for the chord changes, and these are the three chords the E seventh chord. This is the diagram, this is what your hand should look like. I was trying to show it to you in the uh, close up on the video, and you want to make sure that your tip of your finger is touching the string and your wrist is bent. And then for the A7th chord, you've got the second finger on the second fret of the fourth string, third string is open, third finger, ring finger on the uh, second fret of the second string. And then on the B7th chord, this is the most complicated, you're using four fingers as opposed to two in the first ones. You've got the first finger on the fourth string, first fret, second finger on the second fret of the fifth string, third finger on the second fret of the third string, and the fourth finger, the little finger, on the second fret of the first string. And then back to E7th, again, you got the first finger on the third string, first fret. Fourth string is open, second finger on the second fret of the fifth string, and then the first two strings, B, the B string and the E string, are both open. So that basically you just want to learn these forms and just get them sounding clear, you know, starting with E7th, A7th, and B7th.